Hi, first graders. It's Mrs. Peretta from Juniata Gap. This morning, I want to start off by practicing some vowel teams with you. So these are some vowel teams that you've been seeing in our lessons throughout the week, and I know you're going to do really awesome with them. So let's take a peek at our first one here. So our first vowel team that we're going to review this morning is A, Y. And we remember A, Y says A. Let's take a look at some words here that I have ready for you. Some of these words have blend at the beginning. Some of them just have one consonant at the beginning. All right, let's try it. Pull, A, play. S, A, say. Tr, A, tray. Well, that one's a little trickier, that T-R saying tr, D, A, day. Oh, this blend is three letters. Spur, spur, A, spray. All right, this time echo them back to me. Ready? Play, say, tray, day, spray. Nice job. Now it's your turn to read them to me. I'll touch the word, you read it. Ready? That's awesome. Give your brain a nice big kiss. Way to go. All right, let's look over here at another vowel team that you've been working on. Here it is. O-U. Now, in my first grade class, and we talked about O-U, kind of makes that sound like if you bump yourself or you get hurt and you say, ow. So that's how we like to remember that O-U saying, ow. If we look here at our first word, it's a snap word that we know. This O-U saying, ow, t, out. Here's a digraph. S-H says, shh. So, shh, out, shout. There's that T-R again. Tr, out, trout. Rr, ound, round. Grr, ound, ground. All right, echo them back to me. Ready? Out, shout, trout, round, ground. All right, now your turn. No help for me this time. Here we go. Let me hear it. Oh, nice job with that TR blend. You guys are rock stars. Give yourself a pat on the back. Say, way to go me. Way to go me. Nice job, friends. Okay, so let's look here. Oopsies, we dropped our board. There we go. Okay. So if I look under here, our next two vowel teams that we have are both O-W. So we see two vowel teams that have the same exact letters, but what we hear is very different. We have an O-W over here and an O-W over here. Hmm. Sn. Oh, what could that O-W be saying? Sn. Ow. That doesn't make sense. Sn-o. Yes, snow. So these O-W words must be saying O. Sn-o, snow. R-ain, rainbow. Rainbow. Gr-o, grow. Sl-o, slow. And n-o, no. This one's a little tricky. We have that silent letter K in there. It tries to trick us, but we know not to let it. So this time you're going to echo those O words back to me. Ready? Snow. Rainbow. Grow. Slow. No. Excellent job. Over here, we have some O-W words, but I don't think they're saying O because, listen, full o er flower? Mm, I don't know. That doesn't sound right to me. Let's try it saying that. Ow. Ready? Full ow er flower. Sh ow er shower. Oh, flower shower. This o w must be saying ow. N ow now. Brr own brown. T own town. Echo them back to me. Flower, shower, now, brown, and town. All right, your turn. O-W saying O. Oh, read them to me. Yeah. O-W saying ow. Oh. 
You are awesome, first graders. Now, I want you to pat yourself on the back two times. Way to go, me. And one more time. Way to go, me. All right, first grade. Now, we are going to share a story together. Let me turn our camera back here so we can see. All right, way to go on those vowel teams. I am super impressed. I heard wonderful reading, great blends, great diagraphs, and remembering that difference between the two OWs. That's tricky, but you guys rocked it. So awesome job. Now, our read aloud that we're gonna do today is Zelda and Ivy. And this book is called Zelda and Ivy Keeping Secrets. You may have remembered visiting Zelda and Ivy when we read the book Zelda and Ivy The Runaways during Reading Workshop. So today I'm just going to share this story with you and at the end I'm going to give you a fun reading job that you can do. Here we go. Zelda and Ivy Keeping Secrets. Oh, there's a content here. This is like a little chapter book. So we have Chapter 1, Keeping Secrets. Chapter 2, April Fool. Chapter 3, Madame Butterfly. Chapter 1, Keeping Secrets. Zelda looked down from her perch in the pine tree and saw the boy next door. Eugene, she called, come here and I'll tell you a secret. Okay, said Eugene, he headed over. You have to promise not to tell Ivy, said Zelda, because she can't keep a secret. Okay, said Eugene, he started to climb. Woozy Weasel promise? Woozy Weasel promise. They touched the tips of their paws together. Here it is, said Zelda. Marsmen have headaches in their belly buttons. Really? said Eugene. That is the secret? Yes, said Zelda. And don't tell Ivy. That afternoon, Ivy and Eugene played at his house. Zelda told me a secret, said Eugene, but I woozy weasel promised not to tell. That's funny, said Ivy. Zelda told me a secret too. She made me promise not to tell too. She said you can't keep a secret, said Eugene. Hmm, said Ivy. That's what she said about you too. The subject came up again while they were digging a hole to China. I wonder if Zelda told you the same secret she told me, said Eugene. I bet she did, said Ivy. Let's say it at the same time and see, said Eugene. Ivy dug out another shovel full of dirt. Okay, she said, on three. One, two, three. Marsmen have headaches in their belly buttons, Ivy and Eugene said together. It is the same secret, said Eugene. Yes, said Ivy, and Zelda is right. We're not good at keeping a secret. No, said Eugene, I guess we're not. Ivy smiled. When you think about it, Zelda's not so good at keeping a secret either. What if Zelda finds out we told, Eugene said. Let's woozy weasel promise not to tell her, said Ivy. They touched paws and got back to digging. This is getting really deep, said Ivy. Yes, said Eugene, we're probably almost to Hawaii. Let's keep it a secret when we get to China, said Ivy. Okay, said Eugene. He dumped another shovel full of dirt onto the pile. Let's only tell Zelda. Chapter two, April Fool. Zelda was still half asleep when she sat down next to Ivy at the breakfast table. My goodness, said Ivy, look at that. What, said Zelda? Your ears have turned purple. Oh no, wailed Zelda. She rushed to a mirror to look. April Fool, said Ivy. You got me, said Zelda, but just wait, the day is not over. When Ivy was not looking, Zelda poured confetti into Ivy's umbrella. But the sun came out before they left for the library. Ivy did not take her umbrella. Rats, said Zelda. But she smiled a sneaky smile. Zelda had packed Ivy's favorite picnic lunch, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just for you, she said, pulling it out of her backpack. Thank you so much, said Ivy. Before she ate the sandwich, 
Ivy lifted the top piece of bread and removed the cucumbers. Double rat, said Zelda. How did you guess that? At bedtime, Zelda snuck her smelly socks under Ivy's pillow. Ew. This will get her for sure, she said to herself. But Ivy decided to sleep with her head at the other end of the bed that night. Rats, 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 said Zelda. I can never fool you. About a week later, it rained again. Zelda could not find her umbrella. I'll take Ivy, she decided. When she opened Ivy's umbrella, the confetti rained down. Ugh, wailed Zelda. This is the worst April ever. I am my own April Fool. And she tricked herself. Chapter three, Madame Butterfly. Bam! The back door slammed open and Zelda strode out. Me, 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 she sang. Ivy and Eugene popped up from behind the lilac bushes. Quiet, Zelda, hissed Eugene. We're trying to catch a tiger swallowtail. I can't be quiet, said Zelda. I'm singing opera, and opera is loud. She ran across the lawn and jumped up onto the picnic table. Me, 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 she sang even louder. A butterfly flew up just out of reach of Eugene's net. Rats, he said. Rats, said Ivy. If you like, said Zelda, you too can be in my opera. We may as well, said Eugene. We can't catch butterflies while you're singing. Besides, said Ivy, I love to sing. What shall we do? I'll be Cleopatra, said Zelda. You can be my servants. Zelda rose to her toes for some high notes. I am Cleopatra, the beautiful king, queen of the Nile, she sang. Then she sang loudly about riding her camel in the desert. Eugene and Ivy joined in. La, 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 me, me, me. Wait, said Zelda. This is Cleopatra's solo. Servants are supposed to fan the queen while she sings her solo. Uh -oh, that doesn't sound so fun for them, does it? They want to be part of the singing and the fun, too. Eugene and Ivy fanned Zelda with their butterfly nets. That's better, she said. Zelda sang about dancing in her palace. Then a snake appeared, she sang. She grabbed her chest. <gasps> oh, no, the snake bit me. Zelda sank to her knees. Alas, 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 she sang. I fear I am dying. She slumped to the ground. Eugene and Ivy kept fanning. They stood by as Zelda gasped out a few more notes. La, la, me, me, me. At last, she lay completely quiet and still. A butterfly swooped by. I'm playing dead, said Zelda out of the side of her mouth. Sing your part now. Sing sadly because you miss Cleopatra. Eugene and Ivy sang out a few soft, sad me, me, me's and la, la, la's. The butterfly circled back and landed. Hold still, Ivy, said to Zelda. There's a butterfly on your nose. Eugene lifted his butterfly net slowly, then quickly brought it down on Zelda's head. You got it, said Ivy. Almost, said Eugene. Zelda propped herself up on one elbow as the butterfly fluttered away. Oh no, look. They didn't catch the butterfly. Look what they caught. <laughs> There goes that butterfly. What an opera, she said. Let's all take a bow. Well, first graders, thanks so much for listening in with me. Now, I told you I had a cool job for us to do at the end. So give me one second. Okay. So something cool you can do at home to practice reading is flashlight reading. So if you have a flashlight anywhere at your house, you can get out your flashlight and you can get out your book. 
find a comfy spot to read, and while you're reading, you can be using your flashlight to help you read the words in the dark. So here you can see, if I just hold it up, it's a little bit hard, it makes a shadow, but you can see how fun it would be to read your books using your flashlight in the dark. So cool. So I hope you enjoy flashlight reading. Maybe you can send a message or an email to your teachers and let them know if you tried flashlight reading and how it went for you. Have a fun time reading, first graders. We miss you all.